Your Excellency, Dr. Mohammed Ghalib Bilal, the Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Honorable Magister Mulongo, Regional Commissioner of Arusha Region, Professor Makenya Maboko, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of Islam, and Chairman of the Local Organizing Committee, Dr. Jeremiah Lengoasa, Deputy Executive Secretary, the World Meteorological Organization, Professor Florence Luoga, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Dr. Selesh Bekele and Dr. Aramitol, Africa Climate Conference 2013 co chairs of the African Climate Conference, Professor Pius Yanda, Director, Center for Climate Change, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished conference participants, ladies and gentlemen, Abadis Asubui. Oh, good morning. Uh, on behalf of the University of Dar es Salaam, I take this singular honor to thank you, our distinguished guest of honor, for having accepted our invitation to come and officiate at this important conference. I also add my welcome, note of welcome, to those already expressed by Prof. Sayanda, to you conference participants to Tanzania, Russia, and for those of you who travel long distances to Russia, I say Poleni Sana, hoping that you'll, you'll recover soon from a jet lag. As to what uh, the advice Prof. Sayanda gave you about uh, the surroundings of Arusha being very attractive, indeed they are very attractive and they well, were very welcoming. My only request is that you do so after the conference. <laughs> and uh, as to the Nyamajoma, the meat places, yes, it is very delicious, but you'd also be. Uh, better remember the advice from your doctors, medical doctors, that is. The Seafood Guest of Honor, when the University of Dar was nominated by the World Meteorological Organization, the World Climate Research Program, and the African Climate Policy Center to organize and host this four-day conference, we felt and still feel that it was indeed a great honor and respect to Tanzania and to the University of Dar es Salaam in particular. In addition, this has also been partly a recognition of the key role Tanzania through the University of Dar es Salaam is playing in addressing issues related to climate change. And following this exceptional task entrusted to us, the university formed a 29-member university-wide local organizing committee under the chairmanship of Professor Makenya Mabokoro, uh, which took a lead in making this event a reality in the liaison with the International Organizing Committee. And I should also acknowledge and appreciate the support the committee got from the Arusha-based committee under the chairmanship of the Regional Commissioner, Honorable Magesa Mulonge, and of course, the organization or the leadership of the Arusha International Conference Center led by Mr. Kaya. And as I stand here today, I'm proud and confident that both committees executed this challenging assignment to the satisfaction of all of us. And on behalf of the, of the university, I would like to congratulate the committees for this wonderful job well done and continue assuring you of the university's continued commitment and support to similar events as will be organized from time to time within Tanzania and beyond. A distinguished guest of honor, Dr. Jeremiah Lenguasa, uh, gave us a sobering insight into the problems and challenges, but also the opportunities that we face today with regard to climate change. Africa is particularly vulnerable to the environment, to social and economic impact of changes in climate, and recent studies suggest that Africa is likely to emerge as the most vulnerable continent to climate change by the year uh, 2100 future impacts of climate change on Africa, there are significant uncertainties on the exact nature of future climate changes, and a better understanding is critical to developing sustainable and cost-effective measures. However, sufficient support and resources to build a solid research base and enhance a link between research, policy, and decision-making are still in a state of becoming, as very well pointed out by Dr. Lengoasa and to which I would like also to add my support. Dear conference participants, my 
main task this, mo this morning is to introduce to you our dis distinguished guest of honor. As already mentioned, is a known scientist, scholar, public servant, and may I add, a very successful politician. After obtaining a doctorate in nuclear physics from the University of California, Berkeley, he has, he has had an illustrious career, academic career, based at the University of Dar es Salaam, where he served as the head of the Department of Physics and let alone as Dean of the Faculty of Science, during which time he also chaired the science panel of the University Council of East Africa. He was then appointed the founding permanent secretary of the Ministry of Science, Technology, and Higher Education in Tanzania. But also, he has had another life as a politician. He served as the chief minister of the revolutionary government of Zanzibar until the year 2000, and is now serving his first term as the vice president of the United Republic of Tanzania, whose docket includes issues of environment and climate change. So it is now my singular honor and pleasure to welcome and present to you our distinguished guest of honor, the Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Gari Bila. Gari Bishan.